This is a story about us. Some of the thousands and thousands of American boys and girls who live in New York City. We like our big city, especially when our school teacher takes us out on trips to see the real life things we have read or heard about in class. I suppose we must be like other children everywhere, because we always want to find out about things. All kinds of things. is most exciting, but models are great fun to learn from, too. Of course, we learn a lot in school, but in Brooklyn, that's a bar of New York City, we have something really special. A museum just for us. It's not a big fancy place, but here the words of our school books sort of come to life. In our museum, we can see and touch the objects, we can take things apart and put them together, we can find out for ourselves. This was the first museum just for children. My grandmother told me she used to come here when she was a little girl over 50 years ago. Richard's mother came with him the first time. She didn't know if he should be there alone. The man at the door told her it was all right, though. And by the time I spied him in the hallway, I guess he knew it was. Richard and I were in the same class, and all the rest of us used to come over by ourselves after school. The first place I took Richard that day was a Simple Machines demonstration room. Models like this water wheel, which we can work ourselves, teach us about the scientific principles which we all use every day. Ones like the wheel and axle, the screw, gears, pulleys, and levers. Richard already knew a lot about simple machines from school, so he got along fine. There's a playground outside, too. That's the good thing about our museum. Something is wrong. Jerry went down all right, but he wouldn't go up. Richard said the seesaw was a lever like we saw inside, and that Jerry, who was heavier, had to move toward the middle so we would balance. It was a new pet to the museum's live animal exhibit, and everyone wanted to see. most in the museum is the live animal room. It has all kinds of animals, some from foreign countries, too. The new arrivals were hamsters. They're from Europe. This was Richard's first visit, and like many of us at the beginning, he was afraid to touch them. But we all thought they were very cute and would make wonderful pets. Becoming acquainted with the animals is not only lots of fun, but one of the most important things we do here. 
When we handle them and learn about them, it helps us so that we're not afraid anymore. When Mr. White, who was in charge of the animals in all the natural history exhibits, asked Richard again, Richard decided, yes. If the other children were not afraid, why should he be? Later on in the library, I went over to see what Richard was doing. Hey, Margie! Look at this drawing Richard has made of the hamsters. Nancy thought Richard was a very good artist and that he ought to work on our newspaper. The Museum Gazette. Nancy is the chairman of our newspaper staff. Everyone agreed with her about Richard, and at the group's next meeting, he was elected art director of the paper. In our newspaper group, we elect all our own officers and run the paper ourselves. Larry, our secretary, gives out the reporting assignments. Each boy or girl acts as a reporter on one of the museum's clubs or activities. Gloria was given the science club, Linda the photography club, I was made drama critic, Nita got the history club, Eleanor the nature club, and Eva was assigned as reporter at large. Mrs. Harrington, our advisor, asked for the floor just like everyone else to suggest that David, who's pretty shy, be given an assignment too. Oh, sure, said Nancy. How about the playground for him? Everyone thought this was a good idea, including David. That's fine, said Nancy, as Larry put down David's name. Now each of us has a job to do. We found out from the museum staff that over 230,000 children visited here last year. It's a big job to see that they all get in and see everything. I'm Eva. I like reporting on the movies because they showed us how different people all over the world live. And the movies on Alaska made the exhibits we saw afterwards much more interesting. These exhibits are loaned out to schools which are too far away for the children to come here. Through their stamp collections, the members of the stamp club also learn about the peoples of the world and how the United Nations is helping needy children everywhere and is working for peace and cooperation between all countries. Jay was telling the book club a story, Japanese style. They learned that in Japan, these picture sets are called Kameshiba. The instructor of the doll club showed Evelyn how the children make their own dolls. Dolls of every land in their own national costumes. 
They sold the clothes for them and everything. I would have to get an assignment like this. Dancing. Anyway, this one's an Italian dance. They do all kinds, and they're pretty good. science club, which is mostly for the older children, not only play with them, we learn how the principle of steam power makes them work. The best of all was the time we went out to see a real locomotive. We told Richard. Go ahead, Rick. Larry told him. Ask if you can. The engineer said it was all loud and shrill, but we yelled, "Do it anyway!" Members of the photography club, who were with us on the trip, have a dark room where they print these pictures themselves. <laughs> this one of Larry and the other boys won a prize. Now all the reporters go to work writing their stories for the next edition of the Museum Gazette. The activities Richard is drawing about are the trips we took to the Big Brooklyn Museum. This is where we went for art classes. These classes were all free, just like everything at our own children's museum. We could choose any subjects to draw that we wanted. Some painted in watercolors, and others did charcoal sketches. The best artist took a test, and those that passed could later go into a special class that used oil paint and canvas, just like the grown-ups. big museum, we were able to see and try out many old weapons and costumes. During our visits here, we all got a chance to go up on the stage and do something. <laughs> Nobody was afraid either because one of the things we learned was not to be shy about speaking or performing before an audience. So, of course, when the advisor asked who wanted to come up to play the drums, Everybody shouted.
see the paper with stories about everything we've seen and done, it's almost ready. Some wrote about how the different people in the world are really pretty much alike, and how they should all live together peacefully so everybody everywhere can be happy. You know, producing a newspaper is a pretty hard job, but we liked it because we all worked together. Well, our job is finished, and it's time to go home. Being newsboys and girls for our paper, we each carry some copies with us to give to our families and friends. It's the end of the day now, and our museum is quiet. But it will be open again tomorrow, and we'll be back to play and learn some more.